welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make your Windows 10 PC safe and secure when using the internet using what I think is the best security programs you can get for your Windows 10 PC for free. To start off with, to make sure your computer is safe and secure, you need to make sure you have the latest Windows 10 updates. And to do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in check and click on check for updates. And just simply press check for updates and then install the latest Windows 10 updates. This is extremely important to make sure your computer is safe and secure from any latest security threats. The next thing we want to do is click on Windows Security on the left hand side and you need to make sure your firewall is enabled by clicking on firewall and as you can see firewall is on on both domain, private and public which is fantastic, we've got green ticks, everything is working fine. If you don't have green ticks then make sure you do enable firewall. The next thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on free download for PC and we need to go save file. You now need to run this setup file and you can now choose if you'd like to install the AFAS Secure browser. I don't ever install this, I don't see the point, but that is up to you. It is more secure when doing payments and stuff online, but like I said, you can decide if you want to install that. You now need to click on Customize, and you now need to just make sure you are happy with the options below and also the directory where AFAS will be installed. Once you are happy, and I do recommend you keep it all ticked, you need to go ahead and press install. And it will now begin to install AFAS free antivirus. Like I said at the start of the video, I do believe in my personal experience that AFAS has been the best antivirus to use on Windows 10 PCs, but you may have other opinions and think a different antivirus program is better. If this is your first time using a Windows 10 PC and you want to install some free antivirus, then AFAST is definitely a good place to start. Once AFAST has finished installing, you will end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to press continue. And we now need to read the agreement above and just decide if you want to press agree or no thanks. I'm just going to go ahead and press no thanks. And you now need to press run your first scan. And this is basically going to scan our PC for all the basics. As you can see it's doing now browser threats and then it's going to search for outdated apps. And then viruses and malware and then any advanced issues. You need to go ahead once this has finished and press next. And it has found some outdated apps on my machine. And like I said at the start, make sure Windows 10 is fully up to date. It's also important to make sure you have the latest versions of any software, as there could always be a security threat on any of those if you're using outdated software. You can now go ahead and choose if you want to update your software. I'm just actually going to press skip for now and press skip again and no malware or viruses have been found on my machine we need to press next again and it has found some advanced issues feel free to go through these advanced issues and if you don't want to you can press resolve all or if you don't want to resolve the problems then you can press skip but i do recommend you go through and just check that the settings are okay like it says here, you have basic firewall, hackers may be able to sneak past your firewall. Well, I don't have basic firewall, I have Windows 10 firewall. But they're basically saying use their firewall instead of Windows 10. But I will leave that up to you, I've never had an issue with using Windows firewall. You need to now go ahead and press skip now if that's what you want to do. And we can now go ahead and keep schedule smart scan run once a month, which will basically scan our machine. And we can now go ahead and press ignore, or you can press show privacy risk. And this is what a fast free antivirus looks like. As you can see, there's our run smart scan option, which is what we just did. If we now go down to protection on the left hand side, we have virus scan. 
you can now go ahead and select virus scan and you now need to press full virus scan. The reason I say this is because you've not had any antivirus on your computer before and I do recommend you do a full scan of your machine and once you have pressed scan now it will basically scan your entire computer. I'm just going to press it and show you running a full scan. I'm just going to press cancel now because I don't need to actually do one. We can also do a scan for threats before Windows boot. I do recommend you do this as well. If we press open now, you can then go run on next PC boot, which is highly recommended because it just stops any hidden viruses that boot with Windows. It will actually detect them because Windows hasn't booted yet. Right, next you need to click on the second link that's in the description below and you will now end up on a page that looks like this. This is Malwarebytes. You now need to press free download and you now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run this setup file and you need to select personal computer or if you're using a work computer then select work. And we can now go ahead and click on advanced options and just make sure we are happy with everything. Once you are, you can go ahead and press install. And it will now begin to install Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is an extremely fantastic program and I do recommend you install it. Once Malwarebytes has finished installing, this is the window you will end up with. We now need to go ahead and press get started and you can now choose if you'd like to do the 14 day trial premium or you can go ahead and press free. You can now go ahead and press open malware bytes free and this is what it looks like. Like I said at the start, I don't use malware bytes for real time protection because you have a fast for that, but you may decide you want to use both programs if you really like your security on your PC, but I wouldn't recommend using both together, but that is up to you. That's what you can decide if you want to do. But normally they say you should only use one security program using real-time protection at once as the two could actually clash and then you could end up with system problems. But definitely use Malwarebytes, just scan your PC and then just shut it down again. Or if you prefer Malwarebytes, like I said, then use that one instead of AFAST. We can now go ahead and press scan now. It will now scan our PC for any threats and it doesn't take too long to scan the PC. If you do want to do an even more advanced scan, I do recommend you boot up in safe mode and then run a fast or malware bytes scan in safe mode. And it is more likely to pick up any viruses that you may have. And there we go. As you can see, it hasn't found any issues with my PC. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.